yeah, yeah, yeah. D47 all day, revisiting as much rugby league information as possible. Right now, the 1958 wooden spoon in Australian rugby league. And like I say, every time without fail, watching this video all the way through to the end, so you're not missing any essential rugby league information. So, 1958, like I've said already, yet another wooden spoon by Parramatta. They were in the middle of a six year nightmare. 1956 up to 1961, Parramatta got six consecutive wooden spoons, which is the longest wooden spoon streak by any team ever in the history of the game. And like I always say too, there were 18 games per season at that point in time. So 18 games per season for six seasons equals 108 games altogether. And during that time, Parramatta winning just 16 games, having one draw, and losing um, 91, believe it or not, losing 91 out of 108 games in this um, this wretched part of their history. And like I always say too, in my opinion, it's the worst team ever in the whole history of Australian rugby league. Even though, if you scroll through this playlist, you'll see that I've done the Wooden Spoon team for every year of Australian rugby league. And I've been extremely critical of Annandale, who got the Wooden Spoon in 1914, 1918, 1920. And I was also extremely critical of the team university, who picked up 10 wooden spoons between the seasons 1920 up to 1937. But those two teams in the very early days of rugby league were not professional teams, were amateurs. Parramatta, by the 1950s and 1960s, the game was professional. They were supposed to be a professional team. And, um, professional team, and they also playing just as bad as university and Annandale did when they were supposed to be professional. But also, too, Annandale and University, as much as they struggled, they never got six straight wooden spoons. So, in my opinion, the worst wooden spoon of them all. In 1958, yet another wooden spoon. Not quite as horrendous as the 1957 season, but still bad enough to get the spoon. One brilliant moment, though, in 1958, which we'll get to. And, as we always do, we go for all the wooden spoon team's stats. So, in 1958, Parramatta playing 18 games, three wins only, plus 15 losses. In attack, they scored 202 um, points, and in defence conceded 412, so the four and against minus 210, which is nowhere near as horrendous as 957, when it was over, the four and against was minus 302 in 957, a tad better at least. And the leading, um, the leading point scorer for Parramatta in 958, his player, his name was Bob Hansen, and he got five tries, 18 goals, 51 points for them in 1958. Remembering tries used to be three points at the time. But just to really magnify, just to really, really highlight, to really underline and magnify just how much Parramatta was struggling, the leading try scorer in 1958, Ray Preston of all people. And he could only get seven tries for them. And if you don't know, who, don't know who Ray Preston is, I suggest you do some research because he's one of the all-time greats of the game. Ray Preston, one of the greatest wingers and greatest try scorers of all time. He started out playing for Newtown, Newtown Jets or Newtown Blue Bags, they were also called. He played for Newtown 1949 up to 1956, and he picked up 106 tries altogether for Newtown in his time, including, well, get this, including 34 tries in one season. In 1954 season, Ray Preston scorched over for 34 tries in the one season, and that's the second most tries in a season by any player ever. The first is 38 by Dave Brown for East in 1935. So when Parramatta picked up Ray Preston for the 958 season, they were, oh, they were excited. Oh, yes, he's going to win us a few games. We're finally going to get off the bottom of the ladder. Even a player of Ray Preston's almighty quality, a player of his ill, couldn't even improve them, unfortunately. And he can only manage seven tries, a player like that. So that's how much they were really struggling. A player like that who scored 106 tries for Newtown, including 34 in one year, could only manage seven for Parramatta. We always go through the Wooden Spoon team's most embarrassing moment and moment in the sun. So it's pretty much straightforward, well, except for the moment in the sun. That's not straightforward. The most embarrassing moment is the fact that in 958, they lost the first eight consecutive games, which obviously rooted them to last place on the ladder, and they weren't, weren't getting out of it for the rest of the season. In the three games that they did win, only one of them is the moment in the sun. The three games that they did win, in round nine, they finally had a win and beat East 11-7, and in round 16, they'd beaten South 17-10. The moment in the sun, though, 1958, round 14, Parramatta somehow beat St George 1918, which I just absolutely can't believe. All these years, I've been doing all this, researching all these ancient rugby league stats, and this is easily the biggest upset I've ever seen. It's just like incomprehensible upset. 
Like I said at the time, Parramatta getting six straight wooden spoons. And also at the time, this was when St George won 11 straight grand finals. So we had the worst team ever up against the best team ever in 1958 round 14. And somehow Parramatta pulled off the biggest upset I've ever seen, beating St George 1918 for an obvious moment in the sun. And also my favourite moment in the sun so far out of all the wooden spooners. I've got to finish them all, all the way up to 2024. But so far it's my favourite um, moment in the sun. So there you go. 1958 Parramatta's third out of six consecutive wooden spoons, right in the middle of the nightmare. So Eels fans hang in there because eventually we're going to get to 1962 when, that, when they stop hitting the spoon. And eventually, yeah, hang in there for three more wooden spoons that they do get. And then after that, it'll be a little bit easier viewing for poor old Parramatta fans. So there you go, all day for real, your boy on the grind, handling my business, saying PM, popping it off, up in here for real, know what it is. Still watching to the very end. Thank you so much for ongoing, continued outstanding support and thank you most of all for not missing any imperative rubber league information even if you are a long-suffering paramount fan. B47.